Hi, this is a short demo of a prototype of learning items in Frog. Here you see a graph with a number of different kinds of activities. And we're going to start the graph with the two first, brainstorm and chat. So the chat lets you chat, and the brainstorm lets you add some ideas, and um, you can vote, vote those ideas up or down. Uh, traditionally, these two activity types have different data structures and um, are not compatible. Uh, now we can also add different things. We're no longer limited to just chat messages in the chat. We might want to add a file, for example. So I can add a um, file here. Uh, I might want to add a uh, table. And uh, here on the brainstorm side, I might want to add uh, some Morse code. Let's see if I can get this to work. Now we have some Morse code that we can listen to. Not quite. And um, of course, if I'm sharing uh, my class with uh, another student, then they will see the messages that I add here. And, uh, and we see that this idea is editable, so I can edit it. And you see that it updates live while I'm typing here. Let's go to the next activities. Here we have a gallery. Here I can upload some images. And you see here that uh, I can use this interface as a teacher to classify, um, bookmark different elements. But again, we can have uh, multiple elements. Uh, we already saw uh, this concept of an idea, which then can be classified just as well as the image. We also have a concept of compound learning items, learning items that contain other learning items. So I can add an idea. And let's say I want to attach uh, an image. And maybe um, a file. And I'll add this, and again, I can go in and look at it here and uh, classify it. And now what we'll do is we'll take the output of the gallery and we'll bring it into a um, visual activity. We're using a background image here, which is the research lifecycle. Let's assume that that was uh, relevant to this uh, exercise. And uh, we have these learning items that we can move around. Of course, if we had multiple students, they could all collaborate. Um, we can zoom in on the different elements and so on. And the final thing I'll show you is that the teacher has always access to a dashboard where he or she can follow along as the students are generating these learning items. So here you see all the learning items that were generated in this session. Um, we can sort them by different activities, or we can even search even within complex learning items like a table. And we can also uh, zoom in. Now, you see here some metadata. This is an idea with attachments when it was created, who created it, and which activity it was created in. But then we also have this slider, which lets us see the entire edit history of this learning item. So you can see here. So that is learning items.